My name is Toby Stavisky, and I'm a member of the State Senate from Queens County, from the 16th Senate District, and the first woman from Queens County elected to the New York State Senate. And it's interesting, uh, with all of the women up here, I just said to, uh, to Kevin Kim, now you know how women felt surrounded by men for all of these years. Which I like this. <laughs> We're here today because when you run for office, you have an obligation to tell the voters how you feel about the various issues. And Kevin Kim has made his statement very clear that he is supportive of women's rights, whether they be uh, in terms of uh, health issues, education issues, uh, that he is sensitive to the needs of his women constituents, who quite frankly make up more than half the population. Uh, he is a very proud new father uh, and a husband. Unfortunately, his opponent has refused to respond to questionnaires asking where he stands on the issues. Thanks, everyone. Um, I'm Sabrina Shellman. I'm from NARAL Pro Choice, New York, and we are thrilled to be here today standing with. Senator Stavisky and Planned Parenthood and all the district leaders and um, most with Kevin Kim because we think that this is the kind of candidate that New Yorkers need to elect more to office in New York City. We need candidates like Kevin who have stood up and proudly said, I support women's reproductive rights. Unfortunately, his opponent in this race has not felt the need to tell us where he stands on these issues. Um, and unfortunately, silence is incredibly unhelpful for the voters of this district. And so we are proud to have endorsed Kevin, and we're excited to see him win on Tuesday, and we hope you will all work with us to make that happen. Hi, I'm Tracy Perry. I'm with the uh, Planned Parent of New York City Action Fund, and I would like to ditto um, what Sabrina just said, is that um, you know we are proud to be standing here today endorsing Kevin Kim, um, and really looking forward to working with him in the city council as a healthcare provider um, you know, we see every day women walking into our centers um, looking for health care, and we need to make sure that the folks that we represent um, make sure that there is great access to health care, that they get the information that they need, and we need partners like Kevin Kim on the city council to make sure that not only the women, but just the families of New York City get health care, um, and they get um, good information about sex ed so everybody um, you know can lead healthy lives so we are proud um, to be standing here and you know we sort of call on his opponent to fill out our questionnaires and let the voters know in this district um, where his opponent stands on these very important issues so we are happy to be here today I, I want to begin just by thanking everybody here today uh, for coming out here it's really great to be standing together on such an important set of issues here. My opponent a lot of times talks about good government, and I think it really begins with transparency, not just how government functions, but also in terms of the candidate themselves. And uh, after repeated attempts from two premier, nation's premier advocacy women's groups, asking him to fill out these two simple questionnaires, and they're very short, and he can get them online. Um, I think that it's a little disturbing that this, tra this transparency standard has not been met here. And I think it's important to show the proper respect to at least half the voters in this district who care about women's rights, women's issues, to at least answer these questions. So I call on my opponent to do that first and foremost. I um, mean, I just want to make it clear that I'm proud, again, to be receiving the endorsement of NARAL and uh, Planned Parenthood because they stand for issues that I care about. Um, I have a, she's now 11 weeks, 11 week old daughter, and it's nice to know that as she grows up, she has advocacy groups like them looking out for her interests. Um, you know, what we need in this city is, there are a lot of things that we need actually, but in terms of women's issues, what I'd like to focus on are four things. One, in terms of age-appropriate, medically accurate information, health information that needs to go out. That's a very important issue because that helps prevent unwanted pregnancies and the spread of disease. It's a very big concern in our community, in our city, in our country. Um, we also need to make sure that anyone who decides to go to a health clinic 
for the for need for health care services that they're protected from violence and the workers who work in those health clinics are also protected from that same kind of violence we have to make sure that our domestic violence victims are protected are taken care of and finally of course the most important thing is the woman's right to choose to make decisions about our own body without government intervention and that's a fundamental right that we need to protect so I'm just here to thank everybody and to just tell them how proud I am to be standing with them on these issues that are very, very important, not just to District 19 women, but to people all throughout the city, state, and country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And um, all of these issues are traditionally women's issues, but I must say, I've always felt that um, true women's issues are also financial issues, which is why I serve on the Finance Committee. And we have to broaden our base in terms of women, what we call women's issues, because so much of it does depend on, on other issues as well. And I know that Kevin will be sensitive and will be a, a wonderful, creative addition to the city council.